Okay guys, so today I'm going to start um, doing some of the old uh, Spellbinders craft kits that I just recently picked up, or card kits really. Um, I know I had mentioned that they had a sale and lots of you guys picked up some different things. And I said I would review, you know, whatever it is that I pick up because um, I just think that's only right, right? If I said, okay, I'm going to do this that, to do it, right? So I know people pick things up and they want to have some inspiration here. So. Um, where to get started. I know I picked up tons of them. And I think the other requested one was for the car one. I don't remember what month or day that, or month or day, month or year that one is, but it's like a cute little convertible. So I'll do that one next. But today I'm going to do the relax and enjoy. If there are any other card kits that you picked up during that last sale, um, or even, you know, just recently, let me know if I have it. I will try to bump that up to be something I do quicker rather than later. And um, if I do have any links to this, I haven't checked if it's available or anything like that. They will be affiliate links and that means I will make a small commission if you use that link um, to purchase any products. I don't know why I'm going to post this, but I, uh, yeah, I, if there's anything else in the description box that'll let you know of any sales or anything like that, it'll just be there. Okay. So um, that's the only thing about recording things ahead of time. So this is from March 2019. Relax and enjoy. And let's open this up. So when I did the haul, I didn't really quite open. I just showed you guys the inspiration sheet because it always comes with a cute little Spellbinders sticker here. So I recently just ordered their mystery box or mystery bag. And that's what I was going to mention. I don't know if it's still available right now today when you see this video, but I'm really looking forward to getting that. So we'll see what, what happens. So it comes with this really cute stamp set. And to be honest, I think today I'm going to try using the stamp set because I know a lot of times I make the cards and we don't, I don't really, I say we, but I don't really use this. I think for today I, I'm going to try. Um, so we have the stamp set. It has like a little terrarium type thing and um, different little succulents and flowers and stuff. And little home is wherever I'm with you and relax and enjoy your day and different sayings here, sentiments. Always lots of die cuts, really pretty ones. Um, We'll see what happens. A lot of times what I want to do on these is do something a little more creative and then one more basic that's maybe just the die cut so you can see to make a quick card with using these things. So we'll go through these in a minute. The inspiration sheet and um, just super cute. You know, they're here, they have the little terrarium die cut and then they just put some little uh, items in there. This one, you might think, where do you get that? It's, um, I'll show it to you right now, the dies, but the little X's are dies also. So you pop them on there if you want them or if you don't, you don't do it. And then, um, Really cute, the little flower center. Oh gosh, I was thinking, I'm, let me, hey, the flowers are super cute. I might have to do that one on a different day because I like the way the center has like this little piece that kind of doesn't pop up, but it just gives like a little frill in the middle. So they use like gold or maybe bronze paper. So it really stands out. That's a really cute center. Oh my gosh, and then I never even saw this, this little heart, like how cute is that? It's like stuck together with his little hearts and then they stack them to make like a frame, but that's adorable. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> let's move on here. Um, some of these kind of like little cards, again, you can put these in like those books that you have that to, to make a quick, um, scrapbook page, those kind of things. But again, it might make a nice, I don't say background like this here. They put one of the cards and then they just built up on top of that. So you just made a nice, um, kind of background piece, uh, card bases and cards, of course, envelopes. Um, they always send foam adhesive and your tape. You will never run out of this tape. <laughs> I have so much of this tape. It's ridiculous, but really nice. And it's really nice size tape. It's not too thin. Um, we have, oh, some of the gold sequins there. Is that the one they used in that flower? Because they have a die for it. Let me see here. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I'm wrong. No. No, I am right. See, that's what I say. That's a die. Interesting, because it does also look like sequins, but it is a little tiny die that they have. This little tiny die right here will make that, and it'll make like a little frilly center. So kind of a repetition of that. That's cute. So some large sequins in the bag here. Oh my gosh, tons of dies. Um, let me see here. That is a lot of dies. I know some of the other kits, well, they mostly have a ton of dies, but I've received kits here and there where maybe it has like 10 dies or something. So these are the background ones. This is a very thin and this is more of a shadow, but you can also emboss into this one. Um, here's that cute little heart. That is so adorable. I don't know. I think it'd be cute maybe with a little sentiment there. The little terrarium with a little opening so you can actually pop things into it. That's cute. Uh, the words relax and enjoy. So relax, enjoy, and I think there's an ampersand. Yeah, nice little ampersand here, which is always a fun thing to have. 
um, relax and enjoy. Um, all the little succulents and flowers, and here's that middle piece I was talking about. I hope you can see it has like little divots in it. So it cuts that, so it just makes it more um, interactive. That's really cute, I like that. Foliage, of course we love our foliage. Little cactuses, little flowers, larger flowers, um, a little heart. Um, that, again, echoes the little heart and that little rainbow looking thing. A little tiny butterfly that's adorable. And some leaves and other cute little decor. Those are little X's if you want to put that on your cactus. I'm going to have to put these away. I'm, gonna, I'm going to leave these <laughs> right here, I guess. I don't want to misplace anything. This is a really nice big blister pack of um, vellum butterfly stickers. Ooh. So pretty. And then the paper pad, which I think I picked up one of these paper pads on my own just to have it because they do sell some of these things separately. I know they have the stamp set separately. I know they have paper separately um, that I've seen. I don't know that they have the vellum butterflies, but I have seen Oh, wow, that's so pretty. That's so interesting because, look, look at this paper. Um, because they have the succulents, but then they have like the roses and stuff. That's really pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this paper pad is definitely a picker upper. I thought I got this one. Maybe it's a different one. Oh, you know what? I got it, but I didn't open it. That's what it was. <laughs> I have it in a haul, but I didn't like open it to show it like this. So pretty. Oh, look at this one. That's so funny. I was thinking about doing some little watercoloring, so um, it's kind of interesting that that one has a very watercolor look to it. We have stickers and sentiments that are... I love this kind of thing. Just a bunch of words, and they're all cut up so you can just put things together or just pop a word here and there. That is so cute. I'm telling you, their um, craft, I, I, I have not been disappointed. Um, I really love their card kits. Okay, so we have like a light blue, kind of like a sandy peachy color. Um, this is not the gold. They've been including gold a lot of times. This one's more of a bronzy color. Copper, copper color, that's what I mean. So pretty. Uh, very light, kind of minty color, light blue. Very, very, I think it's, it's a very light blue. Maybe it's white. This happens to me all the time. I don't know if it's my outline. Something happens where it looks kind of bluish, but I don't know. Green and black. And I am going to use the white one today. And this is going to be weird because I like to use what's in the kit. Otherwise, I would pull out some watercolor paper or do something else. But I want to use what's in here. I want to make some background paper and then um, do a little watercoloring on it, possibly. And then build up from there. So uh, let me cut this down. Think about what it is that I want to do. And we will get started. Okay, so to start off, I cut down some of the black paper. And it is cut an eighth of an inch all around smaller than your standard A2 size, which is what comes in the kit. So this is four and one eighth by five and three eighths, okay? Because I want it to be very small margin around here. So this is our base. And this is what we're gonna be stamping on. Now, their paper has a lot of um, texture to it, as you can see there, and either side is fine. This side's a little less textured. So I think I'm gonna use this side just because I'm gonna make my own paper. But um, it still has a little bit of texture, just not as much as this really pretty side. And this is four by five and a quarter, so that's more of a regular thing going on here. I'm gonna put this down. And we're just gonna use this stamp, that little cactus up on the very top. And I'm just gonna stamp it all over the place, and then I'm going to watercolor some accents, like a little green, maybe a little pink on that top part. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna use my little acrylic blocks. These are impression ones I love. And I keep putting them back in here because uh, I will misplace everything. So I put them back in there and we're good to go. I'm gonna use VersaFine or any waterproof ink would be great. And I'm just gonna start stamping. Of course, you want it to be super random. And so that means some going off the page is probably best. Da, da, da. I know this is hard for people to do because then you're like, eh, it doesn't look as random as I would like, or it doesn't matter. Just do something. It'll be nice. I think maybe I'll put some up here and another one here. You know what I'm saying? I could have done this a little bit differently and that would have been fine, but hopefully you guys aren't afraid to do that. I was always afraid of making my own. I remember whenever I first started with like close to my heart, um, I would... Uh, well, I had other people I would work with, but Teresa Black, and she used to have Fabulously Artsy is the name of the channel, and amazing videos, like amazing, well, for those days, because now if you look at it, it looks a little fuzzy, I'm sure, but um, she would actually make a video video, you know what I'm saying, like maybe with a little acting, and because <laughs> she was a little eccentric, and I think she's still with Close to My Heart, she's, I don't know, but um, just a fun lady, and uh, I really like watching her. 
Uh, let's see here. And then just any watercolor. These are some cheap ones I picked up recently. Oh, I should use my Arteza ones. Um, let me see. Only because I haven't used these yet, and I'm sure you guys are curious of them. And that'll be something new to try. So this is the 25 uh, watercolor premium Arteza set. Like I said, any links I have will be affiliate links. Um, if there is a sale uh, coupon code for this, um, not a coupon code, but a, my discount code, it'll be in the description box, okay? Uh, let's see here. Okay, so yeah, let's use this, why not? So as you saw, there was two rows. Super inexpensive is what I remember about these when I picked them up. So um, again, uh, they have a, a white, which is really nice. This is something I always, you know, water it down, kind of flick it. That's a, always a nice thing. Or just use it for accents and different things like that. So I have no idea what these colors are, like what they're going to look like. So I'm going to use my water brush. Um, but let me see. I'm going to put down quite a bit of water. I should probably sample this. Yeah, that's a pretty color. I had a feeling. So I'm going to use this one down here. And just really get a lot of water on there because I don't want it to be like I'm really painting these. I just want a little something, a little suggestion of color on each one. I hope you see what I'm doing. It's not much of anything, <laughs> okay? It's just a little something. Now that one I did kind of weird because it's a little too much, but that's okay. I'm going to cover it up. So just adding a little color here and there on each one. And I hope this doesn't... Um, what's the word? I hope you try it. That's what I mean. Not to discourage people because um, it's so easy to work with watercolor. I'm telling you so right now, this is my thing because like with uh, Spectrum Noirs or, you know, alcohol ink markers, obviously we do what we do. That's too much color on that one. Darn it. Um, so I'm going to have to add a little more color on some of these other ones just to... Uh, it's so fast and I mean, it's just a suggestion of color and since it's watercolor people aren't going to be like oh look at this you know just do it do what you like if you want to really dress this up i would put some like maybe dirt around here but i'm not going to do that so let's look for a pinky purple color this will be great and i'm just adding a little watercolor in the top of the flower so this is kind of funny because usually my tunas, I've had other ones in other places that are kind of like a pinky color. I have some in the backyard that are purpley, the little flowers that come out of the cactus. So I'm just adding a little suggestion of that purple. And that's it. You guys, like that's literally all I was going to do. Um, yeah. So, I mean, they work really nice, very nicely pigmented. Like I saw on this one, I grabbed quite a bit of color and it really went down. I'm trying to think, should I put a little accent around here? Uh, I wanted to leave it simple. Let's leave it at that. Okay. And that's that. So I'm gonna let this dry for a second. I'm going to come up with some kind of topper to go on top of this and um, we'll put all her together. Okay, I think we're good to go. I wasn't going to use any of the uh, dyes, and I thought, you know what? We need to use the dyes. So, uh, let me see here. Let's open our card the right way. And if I had this, this, this. Okay, so I have a piece of paper cut here. It's just whatever was extra on that black piece, and hopefully it's straight. I can't even tell. It's one inch by uh, four and one eighth. So it's the same length or width as the black piece underneath. And hopefully this will work. I just kind of eyeballed this. So we'll have the words relax and enjoy. And I think I'm also going to cut out some of these guys. Remember I told you they had these little pieces? And I think it'll be fun to kind of use here and there on that same little band. So we'll see what happens. But let me put these down here. I want to cut out a couple of these at least, if not three times. So I want to make sure I have enough room. And I just cut down a piece of that um, pretty paper for this to work. And I'm just going to stick that down. Again, like I said, I don't want it to move too much. Sorry, my neighbors just pulled up. I'm telling you, I woke up at 5.30, and then Miranda came down about 10 minutes later. And the point to make videos super early is that, you know, the kids don't interrupt, and I don't have to, you know, I can tend to their needs as they need it instead of just, hold on, okay, hold on. And, um, yeah, so I got up early for literally no reason. <laughs> the girl woke up too. And she just went back upstairs and she's like, I'm going to go upstairs. I'm like, okay, be quiet. Don't wake up Dorian. I mean, it is early right now. And of course, these things cut like butter. That one little thing will make you like this little 
thing that I was dying to use <laughs> and then it makes you a little dot too and obviously they're for other reasons but um, I'm using them for for decoration I'll cut out a couple more on the extra pieces here I'm just gonna remove this so pretty where's my relax did I drop it okay the ampersand is lovely I love that kind of thing there we go okay so I'm gonna cut out a few more of these little pieces and I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Ooh. I was gonna say, oh Jesus, it's worse than I thought. It's not just my neighbors are out there. It's the guess who every couple weeks. The landscapers. Oh my goodness. They show up so early. Okay guys. This is gonna be I'm gonna be like uh what was that home improvement with Wilson and whatever or just always complaining about the neighbors, right? Okay. I guess they didn't complain about each other, did they? I don't even remember. Alright, let's open this up. Did you hear that? I hear it. I'm assuming you hear it. Okay. So I'm just going to use a wet glue because this is very, very small margin around this particular car. I need to get a new one of these open. <laughs> it's just so much, I have to leave it facing down and I always forget. Okay. So since it's such a small margin, I don't want to eyeball that and be wrong. So what I do is I use my wet glue so I can rub it around there and get it in the right spot. I was thinking about popping it up off the thing, but oh well, I didn't do it, so. <laughs> of course, you can use dimensionals as you wish everywhere, all over the place. I cannot believe how loud their equipment is. Oh, you know what? I think I have my front window open, too, so that's probably why I can hear it extra well. Okay, I just closed up this window, even though the breeze was nice, but oh well. Okay. So that's pretty good. Now let me think about this part. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to rough this part up. So, um, you guys know I found this and I busted out uh, when I did the, uh, what's that thing called? The little button maker. And then people were saying uh, that they use different things. You can just use scissors. You don't have to have a special tool. Just take your scissors and go up and down the side of something like that. But since I found this, I'm going to use it. But uh, then it does a little better job, a little more efficiently. It's just a little Tim Holtz distress tool. And I know we haven't distressed in a long time. That was a thing we used to do. Everything, everything was inked and distressed. <laughs> you ink it, you distress it. Maybe ink it again on the edges after you distress it, you know? But, uh... Okay. They just gave a little something. And let me see here. Let's think. Where do I want to put that? If I'm going to just put these words... So I was trying to think of where I want to put these little guys. So again, I'm just going to kind of mess with these. I don't know if you can see it. They have that own little, like, shape on the edges. So they're cute to kind of mess with a little bit. They almost look like sequins on their own. And I wasn't sure if I was going to put them there, but I think what I'm going to do is just accent them here and there. Ooh. Something like that. Obviously a couple there. We'll see what happens. Okay. Well, then I'll just put that there. All right, so I'm going to take some glue and go tap, tap, tappy on the back of my hand to stick down my relax and enjoy. And if you get glue on the outside of these, especially this kind of thing, because it's really slick, um, all you have to do is just wipe it off. Um, you can use water on a, you know, tissue or a towel or whatever. Um, but I do it afterwards because I don't want to mess with it too much. So if I get, put this on my hand. Oh, come on. Just a little blockage there. And then I'll tap, tap, tap. You know what I should do? I'll start with the end. That way I know I'm kind of in the center. Actually, that was not going to help. <laughs> Nothing about Because, well, the words are basically the same. Relax and enjoy, like, the, the same, uh... What's that word? Amount of letters, so it should be about the same size. I like that it's kind of a little kind of crazy, like wonky, the letters. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop this up because we need something popped up, right? I always have something popped up. I think my letters can be a little more that way. Oopsie. 
Okay. So like I was saying, if you get glue on these, just a little mist, a little mist of water and just wipe it off and it'll come off because it'll obviously dull out your paper because the paper's shiny. Um, let me wipe this up. Let me clean up a little bit on my self here and we'll put it all together. Okay, I spent a little time kind of messing with this and I think that's cute. Oh, you know what? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, obviously this isn't in the kit, but <laughs> I want to, uh, yeah. So it's kind of coppery too, and I think we'll just finish off with some of these Nouveau drops. Okay, but cute like this. Nouveau drops, just add a little something. All right, so I'm just gonna 3D glue gel this down so we can get some little dimension there. This would be a cute kind of card to give with someone to, um, like a little spa package, you know, a little something fun. Especially right now. My goodness. All right. So supposedly I put these exactly where I wanted them. <laughs> we'll see what happens. They don't have to be that... Um, let me get some new sticky coming out of this. Exact, but... You know, it's so funny when you try to make something look playful and you're like, ah, I don't know, okay, I don't know, and you keep moving around and it's supposed to look organic, so you probably shouldn't give it too much thought. But at the same time, we do, don't we? Because we have to let it make it look nice. But I think what's going to help me... <clears throat> so I just kind of wanted them to look like they were just thrown there in different little pieces. Is the uh, Nouveau Drops, just to make it look a little, a little more organic. Hope you guys are liking this. I think what I'm gonna do is make a quick card after this, just with a little music. I know people say, oh, they don't like one, but this is the more technical. The other one is just gonna be paper cut down and then adding some die cuts, okay, guys? So it's not the the craziest thing in the world. Also, because these guys are starting to do their thing and it's kind of... I wonder if the same people take care of both of these yards. I feel like they're in front and on the side here. All right. And then I'll just, but see how pretty? You don't need more of these things. I just wanted to add a little something. Actually, I don't even know if I'll do it. Hmm. Yeah, you know what, we'll just leave it like this. I was gonna throw on some Nouveau Drops in this color uh, Harvest Moon, but I feel like it's okay. All right, guys, we'll just leave it that way. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll see you at the next one. Stay tuned right now. I'm just gonna put together a quick little card just with some of the dies, die cuts that are in the kit, and um, I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.